Hey friends, it's Ramona, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back. We are talking about the Sensi bricks today. Um, I did receive these last week, but I had to go out of town with a family emergency and I'll be going back out of town towards the end of the week. So I'm going to try my best to get these melted in the next couple of days between all these rooms. So hopefully Thursday I can give you a warm review. I know Lots of people have put their videos up already and I just was not able to do that. But anyhow, we're back today. So um, these are Scentsy Bricks and this is a Scentsy Bar, if you don't know. And there's about five and a half times as much wax in a brick as there is in a bar. So usually in um, the holidays, in the winter holidays, Sensi comes out with some brick collections, some holiday bricks. This year, they offered the bricks to the consultants a month ahead of time so we could melt them, smell them, let, let you guys know what our thoughts are, make samples for our customers, things like that. So um, they will be launching for customers on October the 25th, I think. Think. Yes, October the 25th. Um, so you can buy them individually or in sets of two, two individual sets if you want. So watch for that October 25th for the bricks. Um, and bricks, there's just something about bricks that is just kind of mesmerizing. It's like, oh wow, look how much wax that is. I don't know what it is, but everybody who loves wicks says the same thing. It's just like a thing that you just fall in love with bricks. So anyway, let's get started. I have the set notes over here and the first one is Fluffy Fleece. And um, this is a pretty blue wax and the scent notes, look how big this is. Black Currant Cozy Musk blend, bundle up beneath a blanket of heliotrope, which I believe is a floral. So Black Currant Musk and a floral. I knew I would like this. I, cause it has the musk, the currant, yeah. I'm definitely getting the cozy musk. It's not like a dirty musk. It's not really deep and, and sultry musk. A little bit of a light floral, not a heady floral, not a rosy floral. Very light, um, almost like a green, like maybe like a white floral that aren't too, that aren't too uh, perfumey. Almost like uh, Lily of the Valley is a white floral and it's a light floral. That's really nice. A little bit, I don't get a whole lot of the black currant. Uh, maybe I will on warm, but right now I'm kind of getting a light musky with a light floral. That's very nice. It's The musk makes it kind of cozy, just like it says cozy musk, cozy musk. Oh yeah, I really like that one a lot. Okay, yep, that's a plus, that's a yes. Next is Pink Poinsettia, and this is a very vibrant, like magenta fuchsia color. Crisp plum and blackberry celebrate the season with a burst of pomegranate. Plum, I love. Blackberry, I love. Pomegranate, I can take it or leave it. This sounds like it's gonna be very berry-oriented, obviously. Very fruity. Um, and it is. I like it. I don't love it. I wish there was something in there to balance out all the, the fruitiness. The plum, the blackberry, pomegranate. It's a very fruity blend. I'm not into fruity blends, especially kind of like... It's actually kind of like what's... um That fruit punch um, that kids drink. I can't remember the name of it. But if this had been paired, maybe like... I was going to say maybe with a coconut, but then be really tropical, which also is not in my wheelhouse either. But I could I could blend this with something. Anyway, I'm going to be making samples, but this one is very fruity. If you like really fruity berry scents, you will love that one. Uh, next is spiced eggnog, which I'm really looking forward to this one because I love eggnog, especially spiked eggnog. And if you're watching from the States, you know, well, I don't, maybe not, maybe not all States have it, but in Texas we have, um, gosh, Marcel and I used to wait for that spiked eggnog to come out every year at the liquor store. Um, Pennsylvania Dutch, Pennsylvania Dutch spiked eggnog. Yes, ma'am, it was good. 
Okay, spiced eggnog is ground clove, simmers in a festive blend of buttered rum and creamy eggnog. Sounds perfect. I'm definitely getting the clove. And let me flip this guy out if I can do it without breaking him. And I'm getting the rum and a creamy note. It's not exactly like if you had opened a bottle of eggnog, it's not exactly like that, which, which I was really hoping for. However, I do get all the notes they say. I get creamy, I get clove, I get buttered rum. So hopefully when I melt it, it will come through as more of a true eggnog scent. Um, and I'm in Canada and I don't know, I have, this is my first winter here in 32 years. So I don't know if they're gonna have a spiked eggnog in the liquor store or not. I'm really hoping so. Okay, sweet orange pomander is like a really deep, like terracotta orange. Sparkling clove and cinnamon stick adorn sweet orange in a dazzling display. I can smell the cinnamon already. Yeah, it's very heavy on the cinnamon. Like a red hot cinnamon. Um, am I getting sparkling clove? And sparkling, that word sparkling to me is going to mean it's effervescent and it's not. I do get the clove. I get a very sharp cinnamon, red hot cinnamon. I don't care for that. But I do get a little bit of orange. So um, hopefully the orange would come out. Now, would this be a good blender with the pink poinsettia? Because this is very fruity. This has some cinnamon and clove in it. So maybe they would like to balance out each other. The fruit would tone down the cinnamon. The cinnamon would tone down the fruit. I don't know. We'll see. And then finally, we have vanilla cinnamon maple. This is cinnamon stick warms buttery maple atop a mountain of whipped sweet cream. Oh yeah, I do get the maple. It took a minute. I do get the maple. A little bit, it's a creamy maple. I get the sweet cream business. I, I'm not getting a whole lot of cinnamon stick on cold. Very, very slight cinnamon. Uh, definitely you get the maple in here though. So that one is good too. Um, so I like all of them. I would have to say, I would have to say that fluffy, fl fluffy, fluffy fleece is number one. Then I would say that spiced eggnog is number two. Then I would say that Vanilla cinnamon maple is number three. Um, this one, the sweet orange pomander. It's red hot cinnamon. If the orange comes out in here, I would really love that. So I'm hoping on warm the orange comes out. So this one, I mean, right now, I right now, even though I don't really love fruity scents, I mean, it's okay, but I don't, I mean, the summer fruity blends are not really in my wheelhouse. However, I like the black, I can definitely, I can definitely smell the blackberry in here. So because I can smell blackberry and because all I smell in here is red hot cinnamon, this is number four and this is number five. Now, when they melt, we'll see what happens. Um, I, as I said, I am going to start melting them this afternoon so I can get a head start on them because I do have to leave town again to go home uh, to where my mother lives. Um, so I will try to get that video up before I go. Also, I have a ginormous box out there uh, with my holiday haul, holiday collection haul. So uh, I think I'm going to probably do, I'm probably gonna put some wax in, get the wax going, and then I will do my holiday collection haul. And um, so you will see me in the same clothes and I'll probably post that uh, later today or tomorrow. So that's it for now, everybody. So October 25th, that's the day you're looking for to get your bricks. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll see you soon. Bye.